What is going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to post your 360 photos to your Google business profile, Google Maps, etc., without the need of Google Street View. Let's get started. So I made a video about this, as you can see right here, about a couple months ago, earlier in this year, talking about how the Google Street View app is no more. Google's not doing anything with it. They've totally disbanded it. It is not available on the App Store anymore, and you're not able to click on it and interact with it if you've already downloaded it on your phone. But what I hope to achieve in this video is four separate ways you are actually able to post your 360 photos, whether it's for your business, whether it's for your client's business, whatever it is, use these four tactics and you cannot go wrong. So the first and easiest method is through the Google business profile. A lot of people know it as the Google My Business for your business profile online through Google. However, Google has actually gotten rid of that app as well, unfortunately. So if you have the Google business app already downloaded on your phone, you cannot use it anymore. It's gonna take you to the online dashboard, which is essentially just an organic search, right? This is pretty much where, as you can see right here, there's a screenshot where you pretty much are able to go into your settings and do anything that you need to. So for the most part, you need to log in to you or your client's account. You need to go to the dashboard, which again, looks like a Google search and you can manage everything there. So what you're gonna do is when you're on that, you're gonna see posts or pictures and right there you can upload all of the content that you seemingly need at the end of the day. So it's one of these things where it's pretty annoying and in my opinion, you're getting a better, I would say, feel of the actual program with the dashboard, with the professional dashboard within the app. Again, I don't know why Google is doing this. It seems like they're making it harder to control and manage your free Google business, which only takes into consideration that they're only looking to plug Google ads more and more and more. And even with that, they're taking away the support. So I'm not sure why Google isn't being very responsive and supportive with their customer success because it seems like there's a lot of unhappy people out there Google business or Google ads. It's just something that they need a lot more support in my opinion with. All right, and then the next one is going to be virtual tour software. So this is the second way you're able to post your 360 photos to Google Maps, Google business, etc. right? So whether you're doing Matterport or Cloud Panel or any other 360 tour software, for the most part, they have a way where you're actually able to check out and post all of your 360 photos. So for instance, Matterport, I have a video right here that shows it. Cloud Pano, I have a video right here that shows it. Watch these two videos, you will be extremely informed on how to post your 360 photos to either platform. The third method to posting your 360 photos to Google and pretty much the whole wide world is through Google Maps. So this is a pretty straightforward process. Go in the App Store, download Google Maps. You're, what you're gonna do is go to contribute, add photo. You can also add videos as well. Once you have the 360 photo, you're going to then take it, publish it right then and there, and hit post, and it is live. So whether this is a 360 video, a video in general, a 2D still, or 360 pano, whatever the case may be, you can post it right then and there. And then the last, but in my opinion, worst way to post to Google Maps and Google Business without using Google Street View is through the Google Street View Studio. Now, I kind of know it's kind of... Uh, contradictory Google Street View Studio, Google Street View, it's pretty much the same thing. Not necessarily, there is a studio now, which I outlined in previous videos that goes into detail of you're able to post 360 videos. And unfortunately, that is the same way that it shows right now. You're able to post 360 videos. Doesn't necessarily give you the opportunity to post 360 panos, but I would recommend and I would say, and, and if I had to gamble, that Google is going to update that within the next six to 12 months where you're gonna be able to post your 360 photos to there as well. All right guys, so that being said, these are the four methods to posting you or your clients 360 assets to Google Maps, Google Business Profile, etc. using all these different ways. Again, it's one of these things where I've outlined in this video right here, as you can see, there is no Google Street View anymore. It is just a handful of these different options. I don't really understand it, but from Google's perspective, they've been right in the past, so it only leads me to suggest they are gonna be right in the future. I'm not saying that I understand it right now. I know there's a lot of confusion out there in the marketplace where people just simply cannot post their assets, and it's very annoying, but using these four tactics, for the most part, they're all free, so you're gonna be able to still 
post your assets in a way that you can see your client's success. The only thing that I wish we had still is the Street View app. We were getting millions of hits and it was just really annoying because for me, I obviously saw that number climb and climb and climb, the number of assets that we continued to post. But for me, I just think that from a impact perspective, I could really understand, okay, well, here's how much business we're generating. And obviously we can kind of see that from our client's perspective with Google Analytics, which I've made another video right here. But again, it's just pretty annoying that you don't have one concise app that does it for you. So I don't really understand it. I trust Google and they've gotten to me, they've gotten you know, a lot of success uh, with Momentum 360. But the, with that being said, it's just one of these things where I wish we had a better comprehensive solution. But with that being said, guys, like, comment below your best and most effective strategy out of these four. What works best for you? What doesn't work good for you? I would love to hear in the comments below. With that being said, subscribe. We're making these videos every single week. We will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was valuable. Take care.